Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Uh, Cardano moving around the 80 cent mark. There was a little bit of volatility in the last few hours. Um, however, we're back around 80 cents and today we can expect some volatility in the market, I guess, because of that FOMC meeting, the meeting outcome um, about what is going to happen with the interest rates in the United States. So we will hear some news about that um, from uh, the um, yeah, from the FOMC meeting. So I expect some volatility later today. Maybe nothing too sustainable. Um, as you know, I always expect that things and expectations and news are already priced into the charts. Now they can only be priced in. Um, only expectations can be priced in and certain news. Not everything. So if anything unexpected happens, then we will see, um, yeah, some surprising move into uh, a certain direction depending on what type of news they are. But typically a lot of the news are already priced in and a lot of news about interest rate increases have been priced into already the, the charts um, and especially expectations around inflation data and so on. Um, so yeah, it will be interesting. But nevertheless, even though a lot is priced in, we typically see a little bit of volatility. So what is Cardano doing? Cardano in this descending channel, Cardano continues to be in this correction to the downside in which I believe we are in the last leg of the correction. Cardano has made a lower low. Cardano has come below the wave A low here from the 21st of July, um, which was at around $1.02. So Cardano this does not need to go any lower to complete the correction. It has done what it needs to do to complete the correction. Yeah, um, it doesn't need to get any lower, but logically we would expect um, the 55 cent to 30 cent target range down here which is between the 78.6 and 88.7% FIP level. That is the reason between uh, because um, typically many altcoins are going into this uh, target area between these Fibonacci levels to complete a correction. Not only altcoins, but also stocks and shares, young stocks and shares, which are still very volatile. For example, PayPal uh, or Palantir or even Apple back then. Yeah, in the 1980s, they have all seen these areas. Um, also GME, AMC, they are all in this area at the moment, I think, or are moving into this area and Apple always uh, already has done it like um, 30, uh, 30 to 35 years ago. But um, this is typically what young assets are doing. So they are coming into this range between the 78.6% and the 88.7% FIP level, um, which doesn't mean Cardano has to get there. Yeah, it doesn't has to have to get there. It has already done its lower low, which means it could complete the correction. But because it also lost the 61.8% FIP level at 96 cents, it's just logically to assume that as long as we are here in a downtrend and as long as we are in this descending channel that you can see on the chart here, as long as that is the case that we are also coming down lower, there is then no reason to assume that we are suddenly breaking out if we're not doing it. Now, very interestingly, you can see that orange descending wedge on the chart. We did that before here also in June, July 21. After that, we saw a new all time high. And if we zoom in, it looks a little bit like there was an attempted breakout to the upside. However, that was a bit of a fake out. It failed pin bar bearish signal. Yeah. So Cardano remains in this um, in this descending wedge. That is also why it is so important. And I've been f flagging it up in the recent videos. It is so important to get a retest um, confirmed, to see a confirmation, to see a retest happen. If you don't see a retest happen, then there is a risk that um, it is just a fake out. So based on how I did draw this descending wedge, it shows that Cardano has not managed to break out. Um, I think we could even draw it a little bit differently as it seems. So let me just try that. It all depends on how you how you draw it. And they are, um, you know, they, they, they can be a bit subjective to draw these patterns. Let's see if we can do it another way. But maybe I guess no, I, I guess that was how you draw it, how I did it. Um, nah, it doesn't make sense another way. So let's leave it on the chart like that. Um, and it looks like, yeah, we haven't broken out yet, but we're trying, yeah, trying. So also what you want to see is the volume confirmation. So we saw volume confirmation here, but then the, the retest didn't happen. That is why I find it so important at the moment to not only get the volume confirmation when you do a breakout, but to also see the um, the retest happen, yeah? And um, quite interesting finally to see a little bit of volume on the Cardano chart, which is good. And um, yeah, in order to really break out here out of that descending wedge, I think we need to comfortably, comfortably hold above 80 cents. I mean, we are just at this level, just fighting around it really. But um, yeah, we saw a little bit of um, increased volume, which is good. 
but also selling volume. Yeah, so what happened here was sold off immediately. Yeah, we saw something similar on the Bitcoin chart. And overall, you can see how the price is moving sideways. Here in the last few or last couple of days, we have seen a little bit more volatility between 78 and 82 cents. And um, this is increasing at the moment. And as I said, there will probably be a little bit more volatility today. Will be interesting if the price actually is breaking out of this descending wedge or if it just continues to move sideways. If it just continues to move sideways, it doesn't really respect this as a descending wedge. And we need to see then how the price is developing and if the pattern is shifting and forming. Um, overall, yeah, I have to continue to expect that we are going lower because we are still in a downtrend. And as I said, unless we really see a significant move here and um, see anything changing on the charts, I, I just have to assume that we are coming lower. So I want a clear buy signal, can't see it yet. For me personally, it would already be a really, really good sign if the price was managing to break above the 50 day moving average. The 50 day moving average you can see actually here in orange coming down. That is currently located at around 96 cents very, very close to the um, white horizontal resistance line here. What kind of level is that? That is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. So I want the price to get above that at the very least to talk about, um, yeah, a potential completion of the correction. Until now, it's not very clear and yeah, the price is rather moving sideways. So it needs uh, some more patience, as you know, for, for Cardano at the moment, like in the whole crypto market at the moment, but maybe we see some volatility today and um, yeah i'm just waiting here for a clear um signal a higher high a higher low at the moment we cannot see that but we know that when cardano starts to move up it can do that very quickly so don't be surprised if suddenly from one day to another you see at some point a 15 to 20 percent price increase which comes out of the blue um so yeah let's see when that's going to happen i can't tell you when that's going to happen but it happened before a few times and at the moment it just needs some patience that's my view here on cardano at the moment um hopefully that was useful still in a range at the moment still some patience required and some volatility expected later today so if you like the content please yeah hit the like button leave a like and subscribe and also um, comment for the algorithm and if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye